Hey guys, welcome to the 11th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework for Python. And in this one we're going to be talking about extending the default user model in Django to include anything else that you want. So it could be maybe a description of that user or any any other fields like their phone number, their other information that you might need to save, like for example the organization or whatever you want to store about that user. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to go to the models.py and this is where we're going to define what is essentially the database schema if you like. So this is the structure of if you like one table in the database. So I'm, I'm sort of assuming you're a bit familiar with databases already. If you're not then you can go and read up on databases and the fundamental concepts like tables and foreign keys and these sorts of things. But I'm just going to go ahead and create a class and I'm going to say user profile. And I'm going to say it inherits from models.model. And what this means is it's going to be inheriting all the properties and methods from models.model .model, which pretty much means it's going to be a Django model. So one table in the database, in Django's database backend which is defined in your settings.py and you can see if you scroll down a bit you get to databases and the backend we talked about in a previous video. So it's just going to be stored in my SQLite3 database which is a file as you can see here. So I'm just going to add to this database model and I'm going to say the first one is going to be the link with the user model in Django. So I'm going to say user and that's going to link to the user model which is built into Django. So I'm going to say it's a models dot one to one field and this is sort of like a foreign key and I'm going to say user and of course we need to import so from django.contrib dot auth dot models import user so that's where the default Django user model is stored so now that we've got that we can add anything else that we want to so say we want a description so that the user can put a little bit about themselves for example so we can say models dot char field which is a character field and we have to set this one because it has a required value that needs to be set I'm going to say the max length is 100 and that's a required thing and it won't let you create that without it and I'm just going to say the default is an empty string because we don't want any description there by default. So let's also do a city equals moles dot character field and that can have default value of again an empty string and let's do one more let's say website and that's going to be models dot url field so this is going to be a link to their website and if, if they want to put it it's, it's just going to have a default value if they if they don't want to put it of an empty string again and let's do one more let's say uh, to do some numbers let's do a phone number and I'm going to say models dot integer field And for this one I'm going to say models dot integer field and I'm just going to say the default there is going to be equal to zero because it's a integer field you can't put an empty string because it won't like that because the uh, types conflict so that's all we really need to do to be able to create that model. There's a few other things that you can do, but that's the bare essentials. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run the development server. So I'm going to do python manage.py run server. And so we've got another error here. So it says charfield must contain max length. So I just forgot to put a max length on the other character field. So I'm just going to copy that and paste it and now that should refresh because 
whenever you save the, this document, it's going to refresh the development server automatically, which is a great thing about the Django development server. But now that's up and running, so I can go to the uh, development server. So if we refresh that, and we haven't got this URL defined, so I'm going to go to forward slash admin. And this, uh, this gets us to the admin page, which you'll know about from the last video. But what I want to show here is not only this user's model, which, which Django has defined for us, and remember we've got a uh, user created, but we also want our new user profile model to be able to appear in the Django administration so that we can use all the powerful features of the Django administration, like editing all these fields, for example, in our own custom model. So to do that, uh, it's actually really simple. We just have to go to admin.py, which is created by default, and it says register your models here and then it'll be shown up in the admin. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say admin.site.register and then I'm just going to say the name of the model which is user profile. So that's the name of the class in models.py and this isn't currently defined in this file so I'm just going to have to import it as well from accounts.models so accounts folder and then models.py import user profile so now this file is going to know what we're talking about when I say user profile there so if everything works properly we should be able to refresh so now it actually shows up in the Django admin which is really really good because it means that we should theoretically be able to use all of the powerful features of the Django admin to use this new model that we've created to be able to store data about our user any of the data that we've added here and it should just automatically handle all that for us just like it does with the users model but if we click on it you can see we get an error and what this is saying is it's just no such table accounts user profile and what that means is that because we've changed the models the database structure if you like it has to refresh the database it has to take this Python code and migrate it over to the database. So we haven't done that yet, which means it hasn't created the table to store the data in the user profile section of the admin page. So we're gonna to have to do that migration now. So to do that, we just do python manage.py, make migrations. So you're gonna to need to do this every single time you change a models.py file. And so now it says create model user profile which is going to be this model here. And you can see if we go to our migrations, we have an initial migration now. And this is the actual Python code that is just created when we did that mi make migration. So you can see the name is user profile, and it has all these settings here, all these fields in the database rather. And it's also added automatically for us a primary key. So if you notice when we created our model, I didn't add a primary key. And that's because Django actually automatically does it for us and it's going to automatically increment uh, based on the whatever, whatever happens to be available. So the first object in the database is going to get ID uh, 1 and then the second object is going to get ID number 2 and so on and so forth. So now that we've done that, it's created that file which is going to be able to create the database itself but it hasn't actually done that yet so we need to do another command which is python manage.py migrate and that actually runs this code and it creates that in the database so now when we go to the django admin we should see if we refresh this and <laughs> we need to run the server uh, python manage.py run server Okay, now when we refresh the page, we should see that this works. So now we've got user profiles, we can click on it, and we can add a user profile. So now we can use the Django admin page to be able to create our user profiles if we need to. Now it's great that we can access the model through the Django admin, but ideally we shouldn't really have to create the user profile, because what it should happen is it should be created when the user itself is created so they should be linked together and created whenever that default Django user is created. So in the next video we're going to be able to use a thing called Django signals to be able to do that.